While former first round pick Brent Seabrooks now spent 10 highlight filled seasons playing for the Blackhawks, he and his brother Keith aren't only separated by a little more than three years, but their professional hockey journeys. Keith was a second round pick of the Capitals and had very successful collegiate and junior careers. Then came a handful of AHL stops, a brief pro stint in Italy, a hockey hiatus, and this season the ECHL. But a trade last month suddenly sent Keith to the Hawks' top affiliate in Rockford and into his big brother's professional family. I was taking a nap and my phone was going off and I look and it was my, my coach's number on there. So I was like, okay, right on. I'm going up to Bridgeport. This is great. Perfect. And then uh, I picked it up and he right away he goes, you're traded. And I go, uh, where? And he says, Rockford. So I was pretty excited after that. Keith may be three inches shorter and 20 pounds lighter than Brent. His offensive game is actually bigger. But his transition to defense after growing up a forward has been his biggest hurdle. You know, I think his shot... You know, is, is right up there. I, I always joked uh, and said, I, I believe it. He's got more skill than I got um, offensively with the puck. The past few years, that's that hasn't been my been my um, persona, I guess, as a player, as, as being a defensive player. Uh, but now I'm trying to kind of change the minds of people and, and really, really make that a focus of mine right now. When the lockout hit two and a half years ago, Keith was forced to find work in Italy. And compared to his brother's quick rise, Keith's ongoing four-year quest to reach the NHL was getting arduous. I was definitely looking forward to make that step. Um, you know, the only thing that I did underestimate, too, was, was how tough it was going to be. Seeing how quickly, not easily, that it came from him at all, but how quickly it came from him, and that was kind of, I was trying to keep up to that. And I think maybe that led, that led me to, to try and do too much on the ice. You always picture yourself and you see yourself in, in a little bit bigger shoes and when that kind of stuff doesn't happen for you right away, it kind of it eats at you. That inherent joy for hockey that I, that I had growing up and, and um, you know, it just wasn't there anymore. And uh, I needed, a, I needed a, a little refresher, I needed a break to, uh, to reassess things. So he quit the game, returned home to the Vancouver area and joined longtime friend and lacrosse pro Dane Stevens to open, of all things, a jewelry store. Those years I learned more about myself than I, than I ever have and, and I, you know, I still think you know, as, as tough a decision that was and as, as hard of a time that was, that was the best decision I've ever made was, was leaving hockey. I don't think the hockey thing was, was working out for him at, at one time and, and uh, I don't know how much, uh, how well he was dealing with it, I guess you'd say, and, and uh, the ups and downs of, of playing in the minors and, and uh, not getting a chance. But after about a year and a half away, Last year, I, I was going to a few games and, and watched some hockey, and I was like, "Man, I could, I could still play. I can, you know, I, I, I know I can still play." And, and then, um, you know, I, I dusted my bag off and I, and I went out for a few skates, and I, I just kind of got that itch back. Now I've realized that it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not a, it's not a sprint to the finish. It's, just, it's more of a, more of a last guy standing type thing. And the dream, now a big step, but a step away from playing with his brother for the first time, has been revived. And hopefully uh, he gets that opportunity. It would be uh, it'd be pretty cool to to be able to put a jersey on beside him and, and go out there and play with him in, in, in an NHL game. Uh, you know, it'd be pretty special to me, and, and I'm sure it would be special for him. It'd definitely be an honor to, to one day get a chance with Chicago, but uh, but I, I it, uh, it won't change if it's if it's anywhere else. I'll, I'll still feel the same.